area Ashley Home Stores. Hey there, if it's bizarre, trending, or slightly unsettling, it's a perfect subject for New Day's Hot Topics. Our next guests definitely have their finger on the pulse of what's happening. Please welcome Taryn Daly from 99.9 KISW Weeknights and Steve Miggs, who rules the morning yes. on the BJ and Miggs Morning Show. I think my wife calls me bizarre and unsettling so <laughs> every night. <laughs> so so there we go. We're yes. covered. We're covered. Now, you guys have some cool projects going on. I want everybody to know about it. Taryn, you want to start? Well, sure. I'm on the 21st of October. The Seahawks have a bye week, and so we are throwing the third annual cribbage tournament at Skookum Brewery, and it's a charity tournament. Awesome. So all the cribbage nerds should be coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> it's so fantastic. It, it, my mom has MS, so we've been doing this uh, with the folks at Skookum Brewery for a few years oh, now, and they're so wonderful. Yeah, my mom is so awesome. So we've uh, we usually cool. raise like anywhere between like seven hundred and a thousand dollars just playing cribbage for a couple hours, That's and uh, it's an absolute blast. So we just put the um, the Facebook event group together okay. so people can check that out. Um, it's a $10 suggested donation to play, and there's all sorts of crazy prizes you and can win. And it's fun. And you don't have to be good at it, right? No. Anybody can come and play. Anybody can. So when we get closer, let us know, and we'll blast it out on our social media as well. That so would that be people wonderful. will know to come. I, and I'll try to learn. a serious between, cribbage player. Probably. Like she, she's yeah. selling herself short, but we went camping together, a whole bunch of us, and then they had a table set up just for cribbage. There was nothing else. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, no other objects were on that table. It was just, that's, this is where we play cribbage, and she was there the entire time. So have you learned? No, I'm terrible at okay. it. Yeah, no. And he doesn't want to learn from bad. me because no. I'll just make him feel bad about yeah. himself. Well, I, yeah. I understand yeah. that completely. And Steve, you've got a band going? Yes, I do. I, I play drums in a band called Bruiser Brody uh, with some of my favorite musicians. It really started as a side project just for fun, and I was able to get all of my closest musician buddies to do this with that's me. We're great. called Bruiser Brody. features Travis on vocals, who was in Second Coming, incredible. You know Glenn from mm -hmm. Window Pain. Yes, I do. He's in the band. JT band. Uh, was from uh, Jar Flies and a bunch of uh, Clover Chain and a bunch of other great bands. He's on guitar. And Jeff Rouse from Duff McKagan's wow. band. Loaded. Awesome. So I surrounded myself with talent, and then they have me, so people don't <laughs> notice that I don't play drums very well. And uh, we have a, our debut record, Everyone's Dead, is going to be coming out, I believe, next month. And I'm yeah, excited because like, yeah. I, I, yes. yes. I signed up um, and uh, supported their Kickstarter, so I'm getting a t-shirt, I'm getting the new album. Like, I'm that so excited. Really it's great. a total super group of Seattle musicians, a lot of my favorites, and I, I think Steve is like a rock god now. It's just amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. Five to friends getting to make music together. It's really Yeah, incredible. that's the mm -hmm. best stuff yeah. of it. It sounds like it's really good. So terrific. So shall we pick a topic? Yes. We don't know what these are. We're going to turn them around. Oh, would you buy this for $39.95? Um, not $40, but $39.95. A Bob <laughs> Ross toaster. You remember the guy who taught oh, us how yes. to paint? S super soft spoken. You put your toast in, and somehow it imprints the image of Bob. It's not like the thing it. where you think you see Mother Teresa in your toast. You actually <laughs> do see Bob Ross on the on Where's the, the toast. happy little tree, though, right in the middle of his I, face? I don't know. It's happy little toast. Well, my question is, if you burn it, is that a happy little accident? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. But maybe it just um, completely functions on its adjustable thermostat, and you get bread. Do you, do you, would you enjoy this? I would totally enjoy this. I love watching mm -hmm. Bob Ross reruns, so mm -hmm. I could see myself having Having my breakfast with my Bob Ross toast, watching some Bob Ross classics. Yes. All right. I'm in. What about you? 100. percent I grew up watching Bob Ross. I tried to paint and go along with him. It doesn't take a half hour, and it's, it doesn't no. look anything like his. It's not as easy as he said. But I the toast the, is super easy. I love that the brand is his hair. The, the very, <laughs> and, and, which I didn't know until last year. That's not his real hair. He he perms his hair because he was broke when he was a starving artist, so he permed it so he didn't have to get so many haircuts. Right. Oh then he gosh. blew up and became the superstar, and he hated having to constantly perm his hair, but that's his... But he had to keep it, because yeah. that was his trademark. All right, so I don't know where they sell this, but it's thirty nine ninety five. so we there you go. That. Sold. Yes. Take my money. I love this topic. Southwest Airlines is formally allowing miniature horses on planes as service animals. They wear their little vest, mm -hmm. and I think they are in the bulkhead area like this if they go on. Okay. Um, thoughts? I mean, I would not be upset about having a horse on a plane with me. I mean, not my own horse, but someone else's horse. Maybe I could hang out with it and pet it and feed it some carrots or something. I think it's great. Cool and different. Their new policy includes a list of animals that are not eligible on board. Insects, spiders, rabbits, ferrets, rodents, no. So Many my horse, emotional yes. support ladybug can't come with me, Appar I guess. Well, that's not on the list. Well, it is an insect, an insect right? right? Yeah, of course, so no. And, and they say, please give them plenty of notice. I would think so. <laughs> I'm bringing yeah. a horse. I'm yeah, bringing no a horse kidding. with me. <laughs> no big deal. I need a special seat. But that's this is a thing. Does and the horse get to fly for free? 
I don't know. You know, you probably have to pay. It's, oh, okay. I'm gonna say, I'll be your emotional you support to. human. Yeah, oh, and absolutely. I can fly for free. <laughs> Just hang out. You're doing good, Taryn. You got this. <laughs> And they're for real. I mean, it is emotional support and for some people guiding, you know, like a wheelchair and that kind of thing. So Absolutely. there you go. Don't be surprised if you see a horse on your Southwest <laughs> Airlines flight. Triathlete has been banned from an all-you-can-eat restaurant. It was a sushi restaurant, and he was eating 100 plates wow. for $26. And the restaurant finally said, I'm sorry, we can't, we just can't afford you. Can So... Should there be a limit on all you can eat? Well, first of all, I think I would give that guy a run for his money because I do love sushi and I can shovel <laughs> it down look at like it. the best of them. Yeah, he's in great shape. If that's if that's what it takes to look like that, I'll, I'll give it a whirl. I would try to be in triathlete as a yeah. kid if I knew that that was the end result. You get to do all you can exactly. eat. Exactly. I think there's always going to be an exception to the to the rule, though. Right. You know, he mm -hmm. could this guy could put the, this company out of business. <laughs> that. I, yeah, there probably should be a limit. Um, Some do like windows of time. You have three hours. There you, you know go. What I mean, as opposed to sort of like boozy brunch, where it's mm -hmm. like you can do it, <laughs> but it's only for a couple hours, and then you have to have to go. Well, I never thought about that. I didn't think anybody could eat that amount of sushi, but he's getting like four thousand calories in it. Wow. A hundred wow. different plates, as much as eighteen pounds of sushi That's at incredible. the restaurant where he went. So I've gotten the look when I've gone to the casinos where they do the buffets. I've had the look where they're like, um, sir, come on, man, like. <laughs> <laughs> You've had enough crab meat. Like, you're good. <laughs> you know, like, where it's almost it's on just, the honor system. And they give that like not so so like, oh, you're having another plate, sir. Okay, mm. great. And I'm like, okay, this is probably my time to leave. And then you wrap it up. Yeah. I I'm told you have a sushi roll named after. I do. You. Is this at, correct? At Trapper Sushi, uh, back when I was called Steve the Producer, they called the STP roll. Right. I think there's also a Migs roll as well. I'm not sure if it's still on the menu wow. or not, but and they do all you can eat lunch and dinner. And I've never gotten the look from them, so I think that's very nice of those mm -hmm. guys. And Thumbs up. I always I say, have... if you're doing all you can eat, bring a bunch of friends. That way you can pass the rolls around. Yeah. Yeah. You know, otherwise you're just trying one or two rolls and you're full. I'm not like that, that makes guy. Sense. Yeah. Exactly. I need a chocolate named after me. Taco Bell has been <laughs> voted America's best Mexican restaurant for 2018. <laughs> I actually think Taco Bell is great. It's just that that, and we have a taco here oh, yeah. if, and some other things if you'd like to try it. Oh, yes. I don't, I don't know that they're hot. <laughs> some quick microwave action. Is this an all you can eat Taco Bell? Yeah. Come in. No, 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 everything you can eat. Steve, go for it. My only question is did they put this survey out at 1.30 in the morning on a Saturday? In because then case, I probably would have voted. It's delicious. For sure. It would, be, it would definitely get my vote at that hour. Yeah, I like Taco Bell a lot. I think, you know, the best Mexican res restaurant I've ever been to was in Lubbock, Texas, where I'm from with a family owned restaurant. Mm -hmm. The food was amazing. Mm -hmm. But if you're driving through and you just want a taco salad and you're hungry, taco oh, yeah. Bell, What's your taco bell item of choice? It's we the all, taco salad. It's the taco salad. Yeah. And you're, sure. you, you do soft taco supreme? I do three soft taco supremes, one That's hard good. taco supreme to mix it up. And back when they had the Mexi pizzas, oh, I used I to be 280 those. pounds. Yeah. And this yeah. is why. Yeah. Taco yes, bell. it yeah. is tough. And the supremes have the sour cream on That's it, why. right? Yeah. That's really See, important. I like the regular ones. I, not that I'm anti-sour cream all the time, but I prefer no sour cream. So I go the regular soft tacos. Yeah. I'll yeah. take your extra um, sour Deal. Cream. Really? We don't have time to do this really quickly? Come on, Sue, let me. The scent of sand sandalwood make your baldness, according to a new study. And there now you we go. know why you guys invited me on this show. <laughs> we have an expert on the subject. We're doing a bald story. Do we know anyone who's bald? Uh, we could call no, Steve have again. All the time. <laughs> I don't know exactly how this works, but there you go. Sandalwood is supposed to I be. I don't even it. know what sandalwood is. It's a, well, it, it's do a. Do I eat it? Um, no, it's been in candles. It's, it's, a, yeah, it's a nice what, scent. What is the scent? I couldn't think of the word. Yeah, like I, I've had sandalwood incense before, so you know maybe right. that'll you know keep right. my so boyfriend's full head of hair forever. Do it's, I rub it on my head? It's do like I? in a body wash, and you can. Gotcha. We tried to find a sandalwood <laughs> candle, and we couldn't find one. I mean, I don't know if it's like gone by the boards. I don't think you should judge your okay. your life on what we talk about. <laughs> <laughs> so it's okay. You can hear Steve in the mornings on KISW from 5:30 to 10. Taryn handles weeknights 6 to 10. They've got things covered. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank, Thank you, Margaret. Let's eat. Tacos for everybody. Up next, we'll <laughs> chat with a rock and roll legend behind the camera. A photographic journey that started in the 70s right after this.